day eight of Brown's training camp here in Berea. And as it has so far throughout camp, Mary Kay, Deshaun Watson, of course, dominating uh, everything that's happening with the Cleveland Brown. Let's, let's just start here. The NFLPA filed their brief. So we are ready to move ahead with this appeal process now. Yeah, they filed their reply uh, to the NFL's appeal of Deshaun Watson's six game suspension. That means that now it goes before uh, the appeals officer and that is Peter C. Harvey. Uh, he was designated by Roger Goodell yesterday and he's imminently qualified to handle uh, this task. So uh, you know, that's where it stands right now, unless the two sides get together and come up with some kind of a settlement. Yeah, and Ashley, you know, I don't want to say that this feels like it's close to over because it never feels like it's close to over. Right, exactly. It feels like, and again, that's why I wrote that column at the end. It feels like this is all far from over um, ever since the initial suspension decision became out. But we know this appeal process due to the collective bargaining agreement. It does have to be expedited, I think, is the language that's in there. So there will be a resolution with this part of it, at least in, you know, a couple weeks, one would assume. And of course, while all this is happening, Mary Kay, Kevin Stefanski has to start preparing for games. They have their preseason opener uh, about a week from today. But more importantly, we're getting closer and closer to that September 11th opener at Carolina. That's right. And he continues to give a lot of the first team reps, most of the first team reps uh, to Deshaun Watson. I was asking him about that today and I said, do you have to do that uh, because of the uncertainty? I mean, if the NFLPA sues, who knows when Deshaun Watson can actually get on the field or not get on the field? I think a lot is up on the in the air, depending on what happens with that potential lawsuit and uh, what happens with a possible temporary restraining order and different things that can happen. So Kevin Stefanski is just doing the best he can, trying to get all of these quarterbacks ready to play or to back someone up or whatever the case may be. Like we said, far from over. So let's focus on a few things on the field. Uh, Joe Thomas is working with the offensive line. Ashley and we heard from Wyatt Teller today. He talked about Joe Thomas and, and kind of working with him, called him a unicorn. Anyone who watched him play knows that, of course, but it's got to help Jed Wills and all these other linemen to get some help from Joe Thomas. Of course, and especially Jed Wills when he's the young guy on this line. We've talked about what he needs to do to improve. I think this is the best case scenario for everyone involved. And I know Kevin Stefanski even joked that if Joe Thomas wants a locker in the building, they'd be willing to give that up uh, the moment he asks. So definitely you look at a guy like Jed Wills, who I think maybe his want to had some questions about it last year in regards to him dealing with that injury and playing through that. So definitely uh, nothing more you could ask for if you're him to work with a future Hall of Famer. And Mary Kay, I think the thing that stood out to me is like most guys can't do what Joe Thomas can do. But, you know, Wyatt Teller was talking about his note taking his preparation. Those are things that he can pass on. Absolutely. And you know what? It's invaluable. And even though Wyatt Teller is a guard and Joe Batonio is a guard, uh, they have learned so much from Joe Thomas. So to have that resource out here, especially in a year when he is eligible for the first time for the Hall of Fame, which will be so cool. Uh, you know, how can you argue with anything that he says whatsoever? And I think that uh, you will see it on the field with Jed Wills Jr. And just a couple of quick injury notes. Michael Woods missed today's practice with a hamstring injury. He'd been playing well at receiver. Nick Harris left practice, but good news on that front. He just got poked in the eye. He's going to be okay. We'll cover all of that. You can find it at cleveland.com slash browns.